and let's go ahead we got a 96 count um, what we hooked up last week we got that uh, customer hooked up but this is a lateral um, that is going to be at about the 750 kilometer or 7.75 kilometer mark uh, I'm gonna be cutting this uh, right here in all right well, this is kind of what I was afraid of um, this cable is so hard to get into and it's doing I was hoping that it was just the end of the cable but it looks like um, it's gonna be like this the whole way it's so the jacket and the metal like got put together too fast or something because it's removing the blue color and it ain't easy cool so I'm together fantastic um, I did grab this Let's see I think I figured out a better way of getting a mid span on this this cable um, just because of how freaking glued it is um, so what I did is I rung it uh, both places where I wanted to enter um, and then I found the seam on here um, and I took uh, my knife and kind of got the seam started and I just took the whole thing off together um, I'm going to try that again on the next one, but it seems to be a pretty awesome way of doing it. Um, make sure you got your collar on. I can't stress that enough because uh, it's really annoying when you forget that. But, uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get our uh, tray. Um, tray in here. Uh, we're going to be dropping the brown tube on there. And we're going to mid-span this because I do not want to splice it all back together. Also, there is now one customer on it. So we're going to be using this Jonard, uh, I don't know, MS6, whatever the heck it is. But freaking, it's a little expensive, like 60 bucks. But gosh, that thing is a, a miracle tool, that's for sure. So we'll go ahead and get to that part. Just kind of give you an idea what this... Uh, magic little tool does here um, kind of grip it right there and then you can kind of drag that joker right on down um, super uh, super easy um, it's a little sketchy sometimes nerve-wracking when uh, you got a bunch of customers on there but um, not a uh, not too bad way better than having to resplice all 12 fibers and cause outage and stuff so same hustle. Um, go ahead. I threw the pigtail um, on the fiber and uh, shot the OTDR. Um, and as you can see, my first event, it's it's leading me to believe that this patch cable is starting to go bad because uh, how do I get back to it? Enter. Um, you see the first event, which is at zero. Um, so. What I'm gonna do, because now I'm kind of curious as to what is really wrong here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this, and do it again. This, this is just like a pigtail that's probably just needs to go in the trash can anyway. Uh, but I'm just, all I'm gonna do is clean the end of that and shoot it again. So, just for reference. So, escape, let's run it again. See it picked eight kilometers this time instead of nine. One thing I noticed right off the bat. And I'm curious now if I, it's still gonna see the reflection in the second area, I think. Oh, no. All right, well. Change this out to the APC and it freaking doesn't show. So I'm gonna throw that thing away anyway, but uh, I'm just gonna reburn that if it'll let me. No, oh, it won't even let me, but whatever. Um, totally fine. I mean, we're talking about a freaking neg so negligible that um, you figure if you just wanted these couplings, is more loss uh, connector is twice as much loss as what that's even registering so I, and I don't even think it's real I think the 
because uh, when we just did this, the same test, I used the APC, which I don't have with me this time, but uh, that thing's gone. She's going in the trash today. Okay. Um, I think I, uh, I think it's about to start raining on me. And I did not bring my tent because it's gorgeous. But, uh, <laughs> get some grass in there. Um, got, uh, went ahead. We got our, um, uh, mid span uh, entry on that uh, brown tube um, and as you can see there's all the other 11 fibers untouched um, cut our orange out now I have an orange uh, dead fiber that goes from here that way uh, I'll probably end up using it for g-pon or something and then uh, this is for my customer so let's go ahead we're gonna button this up get it labeled um, and move out of here. Don't believe I'm gonna make it before the rain. So here we got Xfinity up in here. Let's check out what they got here. Looks like they got some RG11 uh, direct burial coax there. It looks like they got some hardline up in there too. Right there. We have a uh, we have a university um, here in uh, Salisbury, and I'm not looking forward to it. I'm not gonna lie, but tomorrow I have to give a uh, a one-hour um, presentation. To this is the second time I've done it. The first, so we're gonna tour the entire IT staff through the data center, and. Yeah, I'm getting anxiety just saying it, I think. Um, I'm gonna be touring the uh, IT uh, class through. Um, we're gonna be uh, going, I think I'm gonna do, last time I winged, I just straight winged it, and I'm probably just gonna do that again a little bit, but I think what I'm gonna do is start with the OSI model and just go like zero through four of what applies in our network. And um, yeah, I don't know. It's a change of uh, pace, I guess. And um, it's cool. Like the professor reached out again and was like, hey, um, you know, Bryce, can you uh, do this again? So, um, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty happy. I mean, I'm happy and I'm nervous and I'm like anxiety. But also what's really cool um, about this is that I get uh, last, well, Oh hell! Have I done this three times? Oh, one time I did it at their at the school, um, and I got one intern. Then a year later, I, they came to us, which was pretty cool. And I got two interns, um, but this time I think I just want one intern. I can't do uh, two. Um, uh, two two is too much to deal with. So um, I'm gonna think I might get somebody to hold a camera. Uh, tomorrow and see if um, I don't know see what I look like like a lunatic uh, trying to teach people stuff so um, I don't know I hope I uh, hope everybody enjoyed and uh, we'll see what goes down uh, tomorrow there <laughs>